Grace Sepperly was born in 1863. Sweet Grace was a warm, friendly, gentle person who loved to laugh. She had this mansion built in 1911 in the green pastures overlooking Deer Lake in Vancouver, Canada. She called it Fair Acres. It was her summer home. Sweet Grace loved children but never had any of her own before she died in 1917. At the age of 54, she instructed her husband, Henry, to use her money to build a child's playground. But when she died, Henry did not abide by her instructions. Sweet Grace's spirit was troubled, and she was unable to cross to the other side. She was doomed to remain inside the mansion. To outsiders, Fair Acres appears to be peaceful, but those who have been inside know that the tranquil exterior hides Sweet Grace's tortured spirit. The widower Henry sold the mansion and moved to California. Over the decades, Fair Acres has been inhabited by various groups who have unsettled Grace's spirit. There has been suffering and even death inside these rooms. In the 1920s, Fair Acres was a hospital for tuberculosis patients who suffered and died here. In the 1950s, it was occupied by the temple of the more abundant life a demented religious cult that abused and tormented people in the basement. In the 1960s, a university fraternity used Fair Acres as a party house. The drunken hooligans trashed Sweet Grace's home. These events troubled Grace's spirit for decades. In 1967, the Burnaby Art Gallery moved into Fair Acres. At first, Gallery staff heard strange sounds like banging, footsteps, and furniture scraping the floor. Objects were moved, and gallery staff felt the temperature drop without explanation. Then one day, a gallery employee heard the rustle of a flowing skirt behind her. The terrified employee ran away without turning around, and then staff started to see a silent figure in a flowing white dress, passing silently from room to room. It was Sweet Grace, and she continues to show herself. She appears as a misty figure in soft focus. Initially, she appeared sad and lonely, but the positive atmosphere of the art gallery has put Grace at ease. The instructions in Grace Sepperly's will were finally observed. Her money was used to build the popular Sepperly Playground in Stanley Park. Children have been using it for decades. This has made Sweet Grace's spirit very happy and peaceful. So if you visit the deck here at Fair Acres and you see her spirit sitting in the same place where she sat over 100 years ago, don't be frightened. Sweet Grace just wants to say hello and thank you for visiting Fair Acres.